Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today I have a very special video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these deep waves that are not uniform so they look better and last longer. Extra special today because I am using my very own hot tool, Deep Waver. Catch the wave, Deep Waver. So you guys can find these in Walmart online or Walmart in store, either one. They're under $40 which is super affordable. You will love them. This is what it looks like out of the box. And all of the other products I'm gonna be using today, the heat protectant, the argon oil, and the dry shampoo are all from the Heritage line and my brush too. It's like a Heritage party today. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel before, you can do it by clicking right here and let's get on to the waves. Okay, so to start with today, I just washed my hair last night, slept on it wet. I brushed it out this morning using my new paddle brush and put in some heat protectant spray. You guys know that you should always use heat protectant spray before you do any heat on your hair. Then I just take my hair and right above my ears, I section it off and you can use an elastic or hair clips to clip it out of the way and then divide my hair in half and I have already heated up the deep waver to 360 so it goes up to 400 but I'm gonna do it at 360 today so when I do this I just divide it into smaller sections they're like maybe an inch to two inches and I am going to do bump up so can you see the bump so you're gonna just put it in clamp it hold it for a few seconds and then release it and go down and what I do is I try to go down to where that last bump ended is where I start the next bump. And if I have little ends like this, I just leave them out. Cause then it gives your hair a little more, like I feel like a little more relaxed look instead of so intense. So you just go up like this, hold it, release it. It's so easy. On my hair, my hair's pretty long. I usually get like three bumps down and then I repeat on this side and I literally do this until the top section and then on the top section I'll show you a trick so nice things while we're chatting I will tell you it has a nine foot swivel cord amazing um, because if you're like me I love a long cord on my tools um, and it swivels so it makes it nice and easy to use I think I told you it heats up to 400, but it has four different temperatures, so you can choose on your hair. Sorry, I'm looking at the mirror, guys, so I don't burn myself. Um, what temperature you want it at. I have it at 360 today. It is made, the plates are made of ceramic tourmaline. There you go, okay, so you can see that. And then I just let them sit. If you have hair that tends to fall with your curls, the other thing you can do is just put a little hairspray on them right here. Mine holds it really well, so I don't need to. So then I just take the next section. This, and do the same thing, just repeating. Divide it in half. And take my next section. And I'm good to go again, bump up. Okay. So easy. Okay, when you're done with that one, I do, I think, four sections total. So I'm gonna just do, and this top one will be like my last section. And again, this time, I am going to do bumps up. Um, you can see one of the big differentiators between this deep waver and other deep wavers you might use or triple barrels is the shape. Can you see that? They're not even, which is the whole point. Because if they're even barrels, it gives you like mermaidy look, but it also doesn't look very like natural because it's too perfect. So this one gives you like a lot more natural looking waves. And I literally get asked every time I do these, how I did my hair, number one, and two, if it's natural. So people are really intrigued Keep on that one. Um, whether or not they're natural because they're not perfect in uniform. One of the reasons I like bump up is because it's by default giving me fake volume. So like down in my roots right here, can you see how it's like, it's giving me like a nice little volume to my hair. So it's gonna make my hair look 
like way, way thicker than it really is. I mean, my hair is pretty thick anyway, but it's gonna make it look extra, extra thick with that. All these little tricks, little hacks. Okay, last section. On this last one, I'm gonna just do a middle part. You can part it wherever you want. Um, here's my trick is right here, if I do volume, to me it feels a little high. I, on this top section, like to reverse it and go bump down. That's hack by Mindy, but totally your preference works either way. So on this one, just bump down. And you can see it swoops it down a little bit more right there instead of up. And I think it just, I don't know, maybe it's just the way it frames the face that I like a little bit better. I'm just holding a little bit longer on this top one since it's the one you see the most. And you can see I'm just kind of letting them sit. I don't touch them a ton until I'm done done. What you guys can't touch or feel through the camera is the handle is super soft touch, which I love the feel of. Um, we made it really ergonomic, ergonomic. I don't know how to say that word. So it fits in your hand really well. We put a lock on so that it takes up less space in your bathroom cabinets, which I love, or you just wrap the cord around it. It does have an automatic shut off because those are amazing in case you forget to unplug it or you have children that do. I did the LED display. I love those too. And it's just all around an amazing, amazing hot tool. I had one similar to this um, a few years ago and it was like $150. It was so expensive. And this one is 39. Okay, so when I'm done, I again, you can add hairspray if you're somebody that feels like you need that. I just kind of take my fingers and run it through. And then I just sort of mess it up, the roots anyway, because I don't want them too, too perfect. And you can see, can you see how that like dipped down right there? That's kind of because you're doing bump down, but if you did bump up, it would be even more volume right here if that's what you're looking for too. Then I just take, personally, because I always put dry shampoo in my hair, even on day one, you guys know that. Spritz a little dry shampoo so that as I'm sweating through the day, it's already soaking up. And if I feel like my ends anywhere are looking a little frazzled, which today they look amazing, then I just take a little tiny bit of the argan oil from Heritage and I'll just literally just hit just the ends so, so, so softly. Especially these pieces right in front. And that's it, folks. It's pretty much foolproof. It's so easy and so simple. Okay, you guys, we are done. And this is the curl that you get. And literally, I will sleep on this and wear it for like three days before it's dead, before it needs to be washed. There's the final spin. They look amazing. Literally the easiest hairstyle. I looked at the timer on my camera after this and it took me 14 minutes. And that was with me teaching you so I was going a little slower than normal. Here's the tool again. You can see how pretty it is. Still kind of warm. And this is what it looks like in the box. So you can find it in the store. You can find it at Walmart online or Walmart in store. It's under, it's under 40 bucks. Catch the wave deep waver. And that's it folks. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to click right here. You can see our other videos by clicking over here, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.